Well, let's just go on the record. Did you cheat on him during your marriage? I have never cheated on him during my marriage. <laughs> and it's not about me. I'm happy though, so. She's you know. doing great. She became a star before she learned to speak. She appeared in national print advertisements of Johnson & Johnson at eight months old and was ranked number 27 in VH1's list of the 100 greatest kid stars. Keisha Knight Pulliam was born in Newark, New Jersey on April 9, 1979. She was the only daughter in the family with three brothers. Denise and James Knight Pulliam Sr. were her parents. Acting talent ran in the family. Her brother, Mashawn Knight Pulliam, also became an actor. Keisha attended Rutgers Preparatory School in summer said New Jersey, they lived in a large estate, which made an impression on her. I'm originally from New Jersey, yeah. however, when I was in high school, we had a home in Northern Virginia and we moved there full time. And it was on 20 acres. She moved to Potomac School in McLean and Foxcroft School in Middleburg, Virginia, when The Cosby Show ended in 1992. Keisha graduated in 1997. Despite being exposed to showbiz glamour at such an early age, Keisha's family tried to give her an everyday life as a kid, which helped her to stay grounded. She once said, my my parents and my family tried to maintain as much of a normal environment as possible. When I went home, it wasn't Keisha Nipoleum, the actress, the glitz, the glamour. It was Keisha, the daughter, oldest of four children, who washed the dishes and did everything she was supposed to do. She broke through the glass ceiling at the tender age of six. She became the youngest actress ever to be nominated for an Emmy in 1986 when she was nominated for Best Supporting Actress for her role on The Cosby Show. But her acting career as a child started much earlier. Wait, I have to open the door for you. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I'm a man, you're a woman. She starred in Sesame Street when she was just three years old and appeared in a commercial for Jell-O Pudding at the same age. Keisha's big break came in 1984 when she landed the TV gig playing youngest child Rudy Huxtable on The Cosby Show. Rudy's role was initially meant to be a boy's part. The Cosby Show was aired for five seasons as a top-rated show on TV, and it was also the only TV show with a predominantly African-American cast to top the Nielsen ratings. Playing the role of Rudy Huxtable was a turning point in Keisha's acting career. It was a game-changer. When asked her opinion about the recent allegations of sexual harassment of Bill Cosby, Keisha said, well, What I can say is this. I wasn't there. No one was there except for the two people to know exactly what happened. All I can speak to is the man that I know and I love. The fact that he has been such an example and you can't take away from the great that he has done. You know, the millions and millions of dollars that he has given back to colleges and education and just what he did with The Cosby Show and how groundbreaking that was. She appeared in many TV series and movies after her stint on The Cosby Show and in 2008, she joined the cast of House of Pain as Miranda. Calvin Payne's new wife. The role earned her the 2009 and 2010 NAACP Image Awards for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. Keisha actively supported the struggle of Black actors. In 2011, she spoke out, commenting that only white actors had won Golden Globe Awards that year. She said, I think there is much work to be done. It can always be more diverse. We live in a very multicultural and global society. More needs to be done to increase the representation of all people and show the world what it is. It's not just one color. It is a common knowledge that Black actors find it hard in the rough world of entertainment. This story's got more twists than a soap opera. On New Year's Eve 2015, NFL player Egerton Hartwell popped the question and bam, they were married the next day in her Atlanta home. Unfortunately, her marriage did not last. Hartwell filed for divorce on July 25th of the same year, and things became more complicated since Keisha was already pregnant, and Hartwell asked Keisha to prove the baby was his. When asked about this in an interview, Keisha said, I have never 
cheated on him during my marriage. So when early in my marriage I was faced with this, I was ready to leave. I had divorce papers ready. I presented them to him. He begged for another, he said, please, I want my family. He said all of the right things. And once I was pregnant, I did decide to give him that one last chance. Discussing the divorce, she broke down on live TV. That's not an issue. Sure. There's no problem. I've never been unfaithful to my husband. This is his daughter. You know, it's one thing when you choose to be in the spotlight. It's another thing when you have a baby. And it's not about me. Yeah. <laughs> the biggest thing in my priority, she doesn't deserve it. She gave birth to their daughter, Ella Grace Hartwell, in January 2017. Divorce was finalized, with Keisha getting full custody of Ella and Hartwell being ordered to pay $3,000 a month in child support. But Keisha's love life was far from over. She met actor Brad James on the movie Pride and Prejudice set and the pair began dating in 2019. They got married in an intimate ceremony in September 2021. When the gorgeous actress got pregnant with her son, they decided to trade in the hustle of showbiz life for a quieter, off-grid life on a farm in Atlanta. They believed it would give them more family time, and Keisha was pleased as she got a riding partner with her little daughter Ella, learning to ride horses. They welcomed their son Knight James in April 2023, the proud mother's birthday month. With this little one, we are complete, Keisha posted on Instagram. Pulliam and James love their life in their new home on the farm. Yes, let me tell you, him and the goats, the goats were my Valentine's Day present, right? But they oh. follow him around like the goat he whisper. is the Pied Piper. He is the well, goat whisperer. If, you know, like when we get home from this trip, mm -hmm. um, we're gonna get out of the car and go walking toward the side of the house and the goats are gonna say, Dad! Dad. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> but what I get, <laughs> they really do. And they actually go, ma, ma. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. The, chi the chickens are really The chickens hers. are mine. The she is passionate about giving back too. In 2010, Keisha started her nonprofit initiative, the Camp Kizzy Foundation. Using her background in sociology from Spelman College, Pulliam has created a free mentorship camp in Atlanta for youth ages 11 to 16. Camp Kizzy attracts kids from all over the county. She helped to host a fall fashion presentation at Saks Fifth Avenue in Atlanta, where $1 million was raised to support students facing financial hardships in her alma mater, Spelman College. Venturing into the business world, Keisha Pulliam runs a hair products range called the Keisha's Glam Collection. She has always made it a point to help people out in need. When it became public that one of her former co-stars from The Cosby Show, Jeffrey Owens, had been working at Trader Joe's grocery shop to make ends meet, she came to his support. I support him and I'm happy that this has turned into be such a warm, feel-good story. Not all stars of The Cosby Show made it financially, but Keisha is more than just wealthy. Her net worth is estimated at $15 million, and she lives happily in a remote farmland in Atlanta with her husband and two children. Keisha Pulliam is 45 years old now.